Well, I got into tech uh, while I was still in the university. But I used to work on drones, so I, well, I learned to program because I wanted to build like drones that could fly themselves. So that was the main motivation to learn. That was my main motivation to learn how to program. Hi, my name is Habib. I'm a data engineer with Money Point, and this is how I make money. So I studied mechanical engineering. Tosin came to deliver a lecture in, um, in OAU. I was not there, but people told me about the lecture. And a few days later, someone shared something about a vacancy with TMAPS. Then I applied and went through the interview. And that was how I got into Money Point. I joined Money Point four years ago. Oh, I left towards the end of 2019. I went back to school to study, then rejoined after completing my degree. The most interesting thing I've worked on recently is this data pipeline for our business loans product. I worked on a data pipeline that gathers our data from all the sources, from all our data sources, and harmonizes the data and presents it in a way the product can understand. That's the largest data set I've worked with so far. So it was challenging getting the getting it to work. Like at least, if you have a very large data set, it can take days to process if you don't do if you don't do things the right way. So the challenge was to make it run as fast as possible and we're able to achieve at least something workable and usable by the product. My role as a data engineer, with like a food, I'll maybe compare it to Momo. Momo is cow skin. And the reason why I'm describing it as Momo is sometimes it's soft, you know, like it's soft work. And sometimes it's tough that like, it can almost lose your teeth, right? So, so I'll describe it as Momo. One other main challenge I, I have with at work is like, talking to or maybe reaching out to people. So if I have to reach out to someone, sometimes I might think about it for maybe one hour, okay, before before making the move. And sometimes I would just ask, I would just talk to someone to help me talk to the person. So, so but at least with time I've been, yeah, it's been getting better at least reaching out to people at work. Out of the four M's, the one that resonates with me most and the most is mastery. And that's because whenever I take something or start working on something new, I'm not always satisfied with it. Like with just being ordinary, I always want to, uh, yeah, yeah, take it to the next level. At least be the at least best or the close to, the, to being the best at doing that thing. So it's mastery. If I want to be a data engineer, maybe I'll be a university professor. I might still become one in the future. So, if... what I love about working with data is that data doesn't lie. So it's just like, um, just like um, as a scientist, you make hypotheses. Okay, yeah, this is supposed to be like this. Then, okay, then you do an experiment to verify that. Okay, is it actually as I said it would be? Like, so working with data is similar to that. So you have, okay, uh, uh, on Fridays, you're likely to make more money because so, 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 and so. Then you work with your, check your data, you run your analysis and, oh, okay, uh, no, it's not actually Thursdays. Maybe it's Mondays that uh, you're supposed to make more money. So just like the scientific process, make an hypothesis, you verify your hypothesis. <laughs>